the next panel discussed spark manufacturing in the chemical industry. Chemical industry is also leveraging digital technologies uh, in a big way. We use uh, cloud computing, uh, so we have our loads on, uh, on cloud. Uh, we also use uh, uh, big data analytics uh, for analyzing our data, so which we collect from our uh, from our DCS plants. So be it predictive analytics, be it descriptive or prescriptive analytics, all kind of analytics uh, we are doing uh, using uh, the big data analytics. We also use uh, uh, artificial intelligence uh, in terms of uh, the surveillance uh, of the plant. You now, barring operational excellence, manufacturing excellence related. Um themes, compliance, environmental uh, compliances and safety aspects, those are extremely relevant and important. And uh, issues like fugitive em emissions, how do you track them, how do you control them and how do you continually yeah. are able to uh, ensure that no, there, are, there is no such incident which is happening and if there are uh, any possibilities, how quickly, how, how much early alerts you can get so that you can act on it uh, in a proactive manner. Process safety is of very deep concern to anybody who operates in chemical industry. Chemical industry uses a lot of energy. It uses toxic chemicals. It uses hazardous or combustible chemicals and carries out reactions which are, you might say, runaway reactions. The life and uh, uh, health of the people who operate these plants is at stake and we must do everything in our power to be able to make sure that uh, their safety uh, is ensured. From that point of view, uh, everything that technology can do uh, uh, to sustainably improve the operational situational awareness has to be done and technology plays a huge part over there. So one of them that has come forth as a very important technology and very practical one is to be the ability to build digital twins. A few other ways in which uh, operators, operators situational awareness can be improved is through operator guidance system supported by augmented reality kind of uh, uh, solutions. According to scientific research, digitalization is in manufacturing contributes positively to environmental sustainability by increasing resource and information efficiency. Actually, if you see applying industry 4.0 technologies uh, throughout the product life cycle results in a smaller eco footprint, okay? And less harmful energy resources, materials and chemicals basically uh, it also contributes and optimizing energy efficiency and decreased cost in manufacturing. For the industry, I think it's very relevant to have an end-to-end -end approach. So that means it's a it's the sustainability impact across the value chain. That means starting from how they are sourcing the raw material until what is actually the carbon footprint of their end products. So it is not just during the manufacturing itself, but it is across the life cycle of the product that the uh, sustainability aspect has to be uh, looked at. Taking the conversation forward was the next panel discussion on smart manufacturing in the life sciences industry. Industry 4.0 is something which is uh, a mix of digitalization and automation. This is to bring transparency and efficiency by real-time visibility and insights for faster decision making. In order to achieve digitalization, there has to be uh, an ecosystem of the cyber physical space. And when this ecosystem is created, that is what becomes the smart factory or the future factory. In context of pharma, this essentially becomes pharma 4.0. Now, how the industry is adopting it is by leveraging this ecosystem, they're trying to develop the use cases. And some of the pertinent use cases in pharma realm are like uh, predictive maintenance, continuous quality assurance, real-time process optimization, digital trends for automated quality controls, digital technology transfer, etc. And the reason the industry is moving towards them is essentially to increase their output, to enhance their quality, agility, improve safe, safety, and also reduce waste. Last decade, I would say, we at Dr. Eddie's did a lot of investment in terms of connecting all our uh, information, all our data, and digitalizing all the information. So what we called as a digital, digitize the core. So we had made a lot of investment on that. So we could 
use a lot of use cases on top of that to create uh, uh, some success stories out of that. And once we saw success out of that, we went for a big bang to, at uh, our largest facility in Hyderabad. And we call it, coined it Ops Next. And we used close to about 40 uh, Industry 4.0 use cases from six technologies on Industry 4.0. And we've seen significant improvement. In fact, that's now going to be our biggest lever in terms of trans transitioning from where we are uh, to being the most productive in the world. We started the journey of the paperless in the year 2014, and we have achieved almost 90% of the, uh, uh, all our research and development, manufacturing and supply chain, and completely in the uh, automation. So India is uh, you know, also emerging in uh, the contract development manufacturing. So it is very more important to have uh, automated uh, tools to help the new molecules come to, come to uh, the market in a faster way. So in 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 R and D, you know, the AI model for this uh, drug discovery is helping us to uh, bring the predicting uh, drug protein interactions, as well as predict the uh, physiochemical properties, uh, and as well as predicting bioactivity. Also, the technology is helping us to predict the success rate in uh, clinical trials and also predict uh, the success rate in the market. Also, many of our pharma players in India are actually working on various projects to take this forward. And the generic industry is going through major changes. The prices have been crashing, the raw material prices have been increasing. So there is tremendous pressure on the industry to improve the cost. That's why the industry is looking at this revolution and the digitalization to have more avenues for the cost improvement. And the final panel discussion was on smart manufacturing in the warehousing industry. It's normal practice to set up control towers across the supply chain uh, in, in e-commerce. And we collect a lot of data uh, at these various control towers. And we use this data to continuously you know, optimize our network design and uh, you know our flows and uh, improve our speed and efficiencies. So we have um, you know um, the uh, pickers or our warehouse associates, you know, um, going on a picking route and picking the various items for an order. So we can we use algorithms to actually optimize the picking route of our warehouse associates um, to you know to be able to maximize you know efficiency and productivity. I think warehouse operations have been seeing an increasing complexity and they've moved a long way from being just a storage location. And there's a high need for flexible, high throughput and compact material handling solutions. So with this background, what we see is, you know, it's, it's quite an evolving thing, especially for OEMs. I think uh, while there are constraints to work around, but there's a, you know, a, a high growth of opportunities, but it also means that they have to design they have to build and deploy solutions which are quite diverse and you know kind of custom so it all means that you know we need to be much faster and right the first time and that's where probably digital twin makes a big impact uh, it helps build better systems and you could keep rethinking and make it better while it is still on you know on a soft way of all the technologies that we can harness i presume uh, the most transformation will be the adoption of digital twin technology Warehouse operations are getting more complex, inventory is getting more diverse, a lot many SQs getting added that the e-commerce has brought in, and customers now expect lightning fast fulfillment. Keeping a sense of all this, smart companies are now building digital twins of their warehouse operations and using them to manage complexities and improve their performance. The biggest advantage is visualization. Design of the warehouse has become easier and friendlier. With digital twins, companies can try out new floor plans and test new workflows virtually. They can introduce new variables and parameters to operations and assess the impact of those. Every aspect of operations can be monitored and tweaked, including SKUMX, ordering and shipping, demand spikes. Uh, in short, warehouse performance can be improved far more quickly and with optimal cost than in the past. Computerized uh, equipments and machines like uh, robot, uh, like AGVs, AMRs, uh, ASRS systems, 
transport systems like conveyors or GV or the smart machines, which can sense, collect data, uh, process electronic signals, and use uh, various softwares to assign and complete various tasks. While the artificial intelligence enhances the cognitive uh, capabilities of uh, computerized equipments by enabling them to make uh, independent decisions, Artificial intelligence is gradually revolutionizing. Uh, let's say that they're trying to transform traditional warehouses into smart ecosystems that utilize uh, advanced technology to automate warehouse operations. Uh, this helps to basically help them to proactively predict the performance of the workers, identify the challenges in the supply chain, and uh, uh, let's say reducing the turnaround of, of the entire order fulfillment process. With that, we come to the end of some riveting discussions to make India the smart factory of the world. Forbes India, CNBC TV 18 present.